From KETK News, you're watching East Texas Live. Welcome back to East Texas Live on KETK. <laughs> Joining us now is Gail. She's with Pets for People, and she's got the most affectionate and playful little kitty cat right here. Gail, she tell us who this, this is. She's gray. This is Amber, and she is about four months old kitty. She um, is just so affectionate. She is. She really is. And if you're looking for um, a pet to really entertain you, mm -hmm. you need to consider a kitty. Yes. You know, when they're so low maintenance, uh, all they need is a clean litter box and a window to look out of. Um, but she is, she's um, had her vaccination. She's been microchipped. She's a little bit young to be spayed yet, but that's part of the adoption fee. But um, it's, it's amazing that she <laughs> is just not afraid, afraid I know. Or at all. She's I know she didn't. When you brought her in, I, I was kind of expecting her to kind of be scared. No, she's not at all. No, not and at all. I don't know if you can see. She has just the prettiest little coat. You know, she's got kind of like the striped patches of like that stripe. And then she's also got the orange and white. It's it's beautiful, and she's very soft, and she's giving me lots of little love bites. They don't hurt at all. I think that's just her showing affection. And I don't know if you're aware that most calicos are female. Yes, yes, so I am. So very rarely will you find a male calico, yeah. but just sweet affection that gets along with other cats. She's litter box trained. Just. Uh, a really pretty kitty and she's got a really sweet little face so if you maybe are gone quite a bit and uh, but you still want to have somebody to greet you when you come home you need to consider a kitty yeah cats really make for great pets I know you know there's some people that are cat people some people that are dog I'm an animal person yeah I have two dogs and a cat and let me tell you, when, when it comes to going on uh, trips or having to leave the house, we always stress out, like, what are we going to do with our dogs? But our cat, she is so chill. Our cat, she sits on the, we have a little uh, windowsill thing for yeah, her. Yeah. You know, she just meows at us, and we feed her, and then we give her lots of love, lots of pets, and that's it. She, they're very low-maintenance cats, but they make they such good companions. They really do. They really, really do. So yeah. um, if you're looking for kitties, you need to go online, fill mm -hmm. out the that application, submit it, and that's done immediately. The application takes about five minutes. We'll take a look at it, see if it's going to be appropriate home. We'll call you, make an appointment. Mm -hmm. Got kids, bring them out to meet little Amber. And uh, but if you're not looking for kitties, we're got a house full of dogs. Yes, y'all do. Yeah. And you know, adopting is so important, especially here. Um, you know, we yeah. we did a report earlier. And it was saying nationwide there aren't as many animals in shelters, but we are not facing that here. We are no. facing lots of animals. Now, why is it so important that people adopt from shelters? Well, you know, there are just an abundance, overabundance of animals in the shelter. And there's a lot of shelters that have to euthanize animals because of overcrowding. Mm -hmm. If we would just spay and neuter, mm -hmm. we wouldn't have that problem. You know, we've got Snippet, who does a wonderful job of the low cost vaccinations and spaying and neutering. So you can't use that as an excuse. But, you know, they just give you so much love mm -hmm. and, um, there's just no reason to go and buy a purebred yeah. pure animal mm -hmm. when there's so many wonderful animals that all they need is a home yeah. and a little bit of love. Yeah, well, this sweet girl right here, she needs a home. She needs a lot of love. So if you're interested, make sure to check her out. Check out the website. Yeah. Gail, thank, thank you, you so much for bringing this sweet girl in. We really appreciate <laughs> thank it. Thank you. Uh, up next, we take a final look at the seven-day forecast. I might let Carson just do that and play with the kitty the whole time. Stay with us. You're watching East Texas Live.